Okay, everybody. I think this is live. I think this may be working. John's in the hey, other. everybody. Okay. Hey, everybody. I think this is live. Okay, John, hey, we have everybody. to turn down the uh, sound in this room. I think this is live. I think this may be working. John, this is live. Oh, we got a party going on I in my voice. Okay. All right. Is it on, hun? Yes. Okay, yay, we made it. Got a little nervous here though, right off the bat, not exactly at one, but this is all new technology uh, to me and to John. Welcome to our live stream. It's Sunday, it's absolutely beautiful here in Livermore, California. I met my sewing machine and uh, we went for a walk today. I've already been to the bead store and I thought it would be fun to show you some of the stuff that I'm working on and tell you how taping went. Does that sound like a plan? Oh, the other thing I believe, again, this is all new, if you are on the TQS site and you want to make comments, go hit the YouTube icon. I believe it's in the bottom right, and that will take you over to YouTube, and then you can comment, and John will give me the comments. I wish there was a way I could see it on my screen, but I haven't figured that one out yet. So welcome, everyone. Um, we just got back from taping in uh, Colorado, and we did six days, for, so for 12 shows, and I'm always amazed at what I personally walk away with. Um, I learned so much. We had some obstacles against us this round. Our producer, Shelly, which perhaps many of you know, um, was trying to pass a kidney stone and was um, not feeling any pain well she was and then getting so she she went home she flew home the last night at taping at like midnight to Portland and then at six in the morning had surgery so I think we're kind of starting to see Facebook posts and stuff like that I think she's starting to come up from under the weather and then um, we have um, another person who comes up from um, doing an absolute brain fart. Um, this is embarrassing. John, I'm doing a brain fart. Adele. Adele, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I was going for your last name and that was just dumb. Anyways, Adele is Meryl. a... Huh? Meryl. Meryl. That's right. Uh, okay, so Adele, this is kind of funny, is a friend of Shelley's, the producer, and Shelly had no idea that Adele is a quilter. And so Adele came, wanted to know she could come and watch. And that was maybe, oh my goodness, I mean, she's been with us for a long time, many seasons ago. And she ended up being on our crew, helping us hang quilts and this and that. Well, she drives from Arizona and she got rear-ended on the way to taping so her poor foot is broken and then by the end of taping the whole side of her body was totally seized up and our wonderful camera guys helped hang the quilts and we've got the best crew in the world also we have a studio audience and it was full and that was a lot of fun each day we can get I don't know we have between 45 and 60 people so that was really fun it's fun to be in the audience We'll be taping the beginning of March next year, so you might want to have heads up about that. And um, there were some people from all over the place. So I want to tell you a little bit, like not just Colorado. I want to tell you the shows that we taped. Uh, all of them were 100% winners. Uh, we started with Victoria Finley Wolf. You know, she's been on before, and she did her double wedding ring. And honestly, I've always been afraid. Of double wedding ring until I saw how she does it and it's like totally doable and then of course she brings her modern spin to the whole thing then uh, we taped with Melissa Sabatka you may be familiar with her work you may not she won a best of show at Houston a couple of years ago with the Chihuly boat quilt and uh, we were talking about this on the show that we remember 
that night, when the awards night, where the curtain drops and then they show you all the winners, and it's Melissa, and nobody knew her name. So she's kind of new on the scene, but she's making her mark. So at Road to California, I printed a picture of her quilt. Make sure I get this right side up. At Road to California this year, she won Best to Show, and here's the quilt. And I have to tell you guys something. I have never, ever, ever seen a quilt that I don't understand in as much as how it was put together. And this is it. So all of this was um, applique. But then to get the shading of the pillows, so that, you know you can feel the rounding of the pillow, she showed how she shaded. And she used a bunch of different tools to do that. But I said to her in between takes, I said, you know, Melissa, I don't know how you did this quilt. I, I just, you know, she explains it, but I still don't get it. And she said, truly, this was um, a miraculous quilt for her because she couldn't believe it came from her hands, too. So I can't wait to see what she does next. She has not been quilting that long. Then we had Cheryl Arkinson from um, Canada. And she's modern, and we got into some really great ideas on how to approach modern quilting, so that was real neat. And then Kathy Wiggins. Kathy Wiggins actually makes quilts from leather. Yes, leather. And she shows how to use leather, how um, to embellish with leather, or how to embellish the leather. And in fact, at Houston this year, there's going to be a special exhibit of her quilts there, and I believe we've slated her show to air around Houston. So if you can't go to Houston, you'll be able to see one of the special exhibits right at your computer. And then we had Linda Ferris on, and she, um, Ferris, sorry, Linda, and she um, works so vibrantly with color. It's just fantastic. And she, one of the things she shared was how to make your home sewing machine with all the fantastic stitches that you never use sing and enhance and embellish your work. Then we had Anne Shaw, who uh, works in the Ruth McDowell style. In fact, she's the one person that Ruth has blessed with fairy dust to uh, go ahead and teach her technique. And um, Anne does it a little bit differently than Ruth, Ruth, and you'll have to watch the show to see why, but that was very, very interesting. And then we did a show on panels, and that's with uh, Cindy McChesney. She actually is uh, Ricky's um, admin, and she was got a Teacher of the Year. Um, and so she's got chops, and she showed how to work with panels that you buy, and then you don't know what to do with. And then on the fourth segment of that show, we had a gal named Stacy. She designs for Moda. And I don't know if you've seen what she does with panels, but she has these dolls that you can cut up from this one yard panel. And it's a one day project. And there's like Little Red Riding Hood. Of course, it's not called that uh, for copyright reasons. There's a mermaid, there's barn animals, and there's Hansel and Gretel. And it's a one day project that's like perfect if you need a gift for a little kid. It comes with a, maybe each panel might come with a quilt. Um, you might be able to dress the doll or whatever, but Stacy was really great. Again, she's with Moda, and funny, she's from my neck of the woods. Let's see, then we had Rosa Rojas. She is the Appliquick lady, you know, with the little tools, and she showed us how to use the Appliquick tools better than I even know how. And I'm telling you people, she applique okay see the end of this pin this end cap she applique something that was half this size i mean itty bitty bitty she's just absolutely adorable and then um amy mccullen is on and amy was somebody that i really knew nothing about she's from utah but at spring market uh i walked past her booth and i went whoa we have to get her on. She works in wool, and the imagery of the wool is amazing, like a little skunk, a little deer, little gnomes. I mean, just 
fantastic. It makes me want to go and get a ton of wool and start working in her whimsical style. Then we had a Karen K. Buckley. I don't need to say much about her. She, you know, she's won, won only a bazillion different awards, best of show. Um, she, uh, she taught us how to do perfect circles and bias strip, and bias stems, and perfect bias stems, because it's perfect with her, with Karen K. And actually, I learned something on that I didn't know, and I'm really excited to try that out. Not, I, I'm not going to tell you, so it's not a spoiler alert. And then Lyric Kennard was back on, and um, I'll tell you a secret about Lyric. When we were in the Carolinas, we taped a show with her, and it was a great show. When we're on location, we have two camera people. Justin was home because I think he'd had shoulder surgery. So we had two camera people that we didn't know, and one forgot to turn on the camera. So for the whole segment when we were in the Carolinas, it was just on Lyric's stomach. And it was an excellent, excellent segment. It was how to do abstract design. She breaks it down and gives shortcuts and tips and all this. So we begged her to come back, and she so graciously did. So we have a show with Lyric, and I have to tell you, watching her change and watching her grow and watching her morph is just a delight because she is truly an artist that is in constant motion. Then, our Block of the Month 2017 is by Sue Garman. Now, as many of you know, Sue has gotten very, very ill this year. She's got stage four cancer, lung cancer, not from smoking. She wants to make that very clear. Um, it's something that's hereditary. And we were into the midst of the BOM, and let me tell you, it is incredible. Uh, she found, that's when she found out. So we had Carolyn Hawk, who has been a TQS member since first season and has made all of our block of the months agree to make Sue's pattern. So poor Carolyn had six or five weeks to put together the BOM. It's not quilted yet. Um, it's paper pieced. It is classic Sue Garman style and we'll reveal it around uh, Houston time is when we'll reveal it and you'll be able to see. And so that was the other one. So as you can see, um, Adele and John were super busy putting quilts up and our camera people taking quilts down and it was a jam-packed show. And of course we went on location too so there were a lot of field pieces of really neat stuff. So all of we're going to actually start rolling in some of these shows um, around Houston. I believe we're short four shows plus Legend and we're going to be taping Legend in November. So um, we're putting in these shows and I hope you will enjoy. Remember, when you are a paid member, $42.95 for the whole year, you have access to everything. But you can also be a free member um, at thequiltshow.com and you get your four times a week newsletter and all that. Okay, so that's about taping. Um, on my Facebook, I promised I would share some stuff with you. Okay, so my daughter is expecting a son in one month. So now we have three and three quarter babies. We've got three girls and we've got one boy on the way in the oven. And being raised on boats with my dad and mom, loving everything nautical, I guess it rubbed off on her and we decided, she decided to go nautical. I have a quilt that's at Angela Walters right now that's going to hang above the crib that's of sailboats, but I wanted to show you um, the mobile. This is so cute. I got, here, let me hold it up, and then it's got little anchors and boats that I sewed out of felt. So the top part I got on Etsy, I just um, googled um, steering, boat steering wheels, and I got this little wooden boat, I think it was like, or wooden steering wheel, I think it was about 20 bucks. And then I tied tool on the top to make it all fluffy and cute. And then I made these little guys, I uh, googled boat mobiles and saw this shape of a boat and I thought it was really cute. Let me get it in there. It's all hand stitched. The red is flat, but everything else is stuffed. 
And then I was looking for red anchors. I get this, these are teething things. So um, this will be going up as soon as they get the crib situated in the room. And I'm going to tell you right now, they better get busy because time's, times are running out, that's for sure. Let's see, what else am I working on? Oh, okay. There is a, um, a nonprofit called, uh, it's, it's Rare Science, and they're doing rare bears. And the idea is that there are these children that have very, very rare diseases. And the doctor, the, the person that's like in charge of, you know, trying to figure out how to solve these rare diseases, decided to come up with a concept called rare bears. And the rare, am I saying that right, John? Rare bears, rare mm -hmm. science. Yeah, you can have, I don't want to show them yet. Well, so the idea is that kids are picked um, and then a bear is made especially for them. And so like if a kid's into baseball, maybe their bear is um, a baseball bear. Um, and spoon, um, let me think, quilt ink is involved with this. Simplicity has the pattern with it. I think Mountain Mist is involved, and we're involved. I'm looking at John. Um, hmm. Anyways, anyway, so at Houston, um, about 20 designers have been asked to do bears, and so these are going to be auctioned off to the public in order to raise money to have this project go on. So here's my rare bear. And I decided to make my little bear doing red work. And I had some of my piecing stuff that I do that's kind of improv right now. And then this is part of my new fabric line. Whoops. And I believe you want to, you know, make sure you open our newsletters that you have the opportunity also to bid online. I don't think you have to be at Houston. But this is my, this is my red work bear. Um, I saw Rob Appel's. <laughs> this is surfing dude bear but <laughs> he's got a baseball cap that says man sewing thing i mean it's ador adorable he, he emailed us and said that um the bear was too chubby so he's trying to take some of the stuffing out and make it have a six pack you know and then that didn't work so we had to stuff the bear back up um but there it promises to be a lot of fun so check out our rare bears and it's um, a really great, great organization. Another thing that's coming up is Quilting in the Garden. And it's the fourth weekend of September, Saturday and Sunday, at Alden Lane in Livermore, California. I always have a kickback booth there with my jean shorts and a t-shirt on. Um, there's, a, you know, over 250, 300 tree, uh, quilts hanging from 300, 400 year old oak trees. And every year we have featured artists. Well, this year we're doing something a little unusual and I'm very excited about it. The first is the quilts of CNT. CNT Publishing is in our neck of the woods and they will um, bring quilts from their authors, okay? And they'll have a booth there. Also, uh, Jennifer Sampu. Um, is going to have her fabric lines and her quilts and how that all plays together. She designs for um, Kaufman. Is she's married to one of the owners of CNT Publishing, Todd Hensley. So see, that's how that goes together. And then um, Pokey Bolton, Patricia Bolton, who uh, had um, crap, uh, paper, scissors, cloth magazine, um, and she used to then worked at Quilts Inc. and then she left and she opened she has a place up in Napa and she has an annual event called Craft Napa in January of which I will be going to as a student. I can't wait. Um, the barn. Yeah, you got you got to check this out. Uh, Patricia Bolton, Craft Napa. I don't know if there's any spots left or whatever, but at Alden Lane, she's doing a special retrospective for the late Yvonne Purcella. If you don't know who Yvonne Purcella was, hey John, look and see what legend she was. 713. Okay, we did a show, a legend show, 713 with Yvonne, and um, Yvonne started Sakwa Studio Art Quilting Association, I think, you can correct me if I'm wrong, 
um, she really brought the art quilter to the mix back in the day. Um, she had cancer and it was a treacherous style of cancer, but she really, really lasted a long time while battling this. And it, from where I'm sitting, she never missed a beat. Even at the very end, she was doing art from her bed. Um, when Pokey did groundbreaking for her the barn that she built in Napa on her property, um, Yvonne was there, very, very frail. Uh, I don't know if it was last year at Houston or the year before. Yvonne had a special exhibit, and she was jetting around on a little beep beep thing with her little sparkle cap on. I mean, Yvonne did not let this get her down. I want to show you... Um, oh, so let me tell you what Pokey's doing. So what Pokey's doing is a special exhibit. I could be wrong, but I think there's about 60 different quilts in there. Something like um, 18 by 28 or something. I don't know. There's dimension. And they're all going to be at Quilting in the Garden in the greenhouse. Um, if you're not familiar with Yvonne, this is one of her books. And I think it shows her whimsical style. I thought I would open some pages here. Um, this is some of her early work. She dealt with uh, silks for a while and did very um, interesting stuff. Oh, here, here's one. This is an earlier piece. You'd often find hearts in her work. Um, she just was cutting... Oh, oh, I love this one. I love, 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 love. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, that's Yvonne. So look at, like, the silks down here, then with all the bold things. So anyways, I raised my hand and I said, I want to do a quilt. So mine, oh, mine is not yet bound. Um, well, it's got the clippy clips on it. But here's my piece. Let me get it back. There we go. I had to put a heart on it. And the thing about Yvonne is that she was incredibly, incredibly spiritual. Um, very, very devout Catholic. So I bought this fabric, golly, about five years ago. I didn't know what to do with, and guess what? Yvonne gets it. So after I bead, I mean, after I bind it, I'm probably going to bead the Lady of Guadalupe on the back, and then I, I, I told you I was at the bead store today. I think I'm going to put some beads and stuff on the little heart down here. So this was um, really nice to make, let me tell you, because it just... Had me think of Yvonne. So here's a piece actually I bought from Yvonne when we went and did the Legends uh, show. Uh, this is a self-portrait of her. I just adore this. This hangs in my studio. So he, one other thing. And John, are we getting questions? No questions yet. Okay. I wonder if we have the ability to get questions. Yeah. If they're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I can take questions. So I went to the quilt shop yesterday just to buy this striped fabric because I couldn't believe I didn't have any. It's the perfect binding. Um, then I got this striped fabric, but that was too much for the edge. Um, so that was uh, maybe I got a half a yard and a half a yard. So a yard of fabric. Oh, but wait, no. I walked out with $80 worth of fabric. So this is what I walked out with right there. It all kind of started with this. Uh, Ricky has a star pattern that we're going to be giving you on TQS and he wanted me to make it so these are what I chose. I'm kind of excited about that. So um, that's kind of what's going on uh, and so we're okay? We're okay? I hope um, that you guys have enjoyed this and I believe I'm going to do it kind of regularly. I'll let you know via Facebook, as well as, um, we'll let you know on TQS, and next time, I'm going to open a box. Mm, you have to wait around and see what's in there. Someone tells me it's my new fabric line, pretty excited about that, and show the quilt that I made out of it. So, you guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule and listening to me blather on for whatever. But that's what's going on. 
As soon as we hang up or disconnect, I'm going to work some more on this quilt behind me, and I'll talk about that another time. A lot of fun, a lot of finished applique. So have a good rest of the day, and hope you have a great um, three-day weekend. We're going to go away with my daughter, son, my daughter, my son-in-law, my granddaughter, and a very, and a William that's not out of the oven yet. So this has been a lot of fun, you guys, and I'm going to say bye-bye. I think. So I think I've been talking and you couldn't hear a thing I said. I said, hey, Virgin Voyage, Virgin Voyage, right? Do we still have people on, John? Okay. All right. So sorry. You got to start again. Um, yeah, the microphone's going. So, okay. Quilting in the Garden is the fourth weekend of September at, at Alden Lane in Livermore, California. And then my retreat starts um, the Thursday after there's an early start and actually a class with Freddie on the Tuesday after quilting in the garden that's filled up. Um, but I do believe there are some classes still available at Alden Lane that you can take from various artists. 
um, go to aldenlane.com and find Quilting in the Garden. And if you want to sign up for a class, you call 925-447-0280. Another question was, where did I get this fabric? Um, this Lady of Guadalupe fabric. It's a, it's a fairly old piece, I will tell you. It's Robert Kaufman, and it was designed by uh, Luana Rubin. Um, and it's called The Enchanted Desert. You know, maybe you could find it on Etsy. I've seen a lot of people with this fabric, um, like beat it all up and stuff like that. Just let the fabric do the work for you. I, I've had this forever and just didn't want to cut into it. But I, you know, for, for Yvonne, perfect. Let's see. Another question was, John, what was the other questions? You know, I'm going to fire him. Let me just start with that. I kept asking other questions. No, 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 no. Oh, Libby. Libby's doing very well. Um, I don't know if she's sewing a whole lot or what she's doing, but I know that she doesn't have to have care every day. And um, I know that there's not a lot on the caring bridge. Like no news is good news. I, I probably need to call her. I try and stay out of the way, but... Um, she, oh, oh, yeah, bring that behind. Okay, no, you're not fired anymore. So this is actually a quilt from Simply Quilts. Let's let me get this back. John's helping me. That was a challenge, and it was three different people. It was about age, and this, the I can't remember the guest's name. It was about her hair and how it went from gold to gray, and then Yvonne did all of this applique, and then we had, wow, this thing's dirty. I don't know how I'm going to wash it. And then um, it was Pat, Yvonne, and Linda. Um, Pat did the quilting on it. And this is so long ago, I don't remember, but I'll tell you what, this hangs in our kitchen. And I absolutely adore this piece. I'm going to have to Give vacuum it or something. No, we're good. Give me progress. Anything here? I think we're, John, we're good. We're good. Okay, here. There we go. Okay, so he was there trying to save the day with that. Now, are there any other questions? John, can you hang by the computer? Go take a look-see. I lost a bunch of you, but I still have some of you here. I'm thinking about doing a sew day, too. I think that would be fun on camera, but then I couldn't use my language of quilting. Don't tell me you don't know what that is. That's when the bobbin runs out two hours ago and you're still sewing. Who else is doing rare bears? Um, that's a question. Uh, you know, I don't have the list. Lilo has the list. Um, but there are about 20 of us. And I can't wait to see. It's kind of like, um, see, there was one. I'm trying to think who it is. Uh, shoot. One came in. And the Rare Bear has a backpack and all this stuff attached to it. And mine wasn't up to snuff. And then Mary Kay actually said, make it like do embroidery or something like that. And I'm going, yay, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then Lilo, who works for us, said, um, do a, uh, put a bow tie on it or something like that. And it got stepped up a little bit. But I think they're really cute. And I'm thrilled that Quilts Inc. is cooperating with this whole thing. Say more questions? John's my producer. The, the fabric line is due out, I know it arrived right now because I've got the box, um, probably like October, November, gosh, I don't know. It's called Mirage, and uh, the design is based on pomegranates. Um, as many of you know, uh, my uh, son is married to uh, Shelly who's a Persian Israeli, and I wanted to do something that has to do with pomegranates because in the Jewish culture, I, I don't know what it's called. Maybe somebody will type it down. John, can you are you over there? Um, a pomegranate has like 633 seeds or something like that, and in your lifetime, you're supposed to do a good deed for each of those seeds. So I think it's really a lovely concept when... Um, I do something I don't want to do or is a pain in the butt and I can go, well, that's check off another pomegranate. 
<laughs> so that's <laughs> that's why I wanted to do something with the pomegranate. And it's very different. It's very, very colorful. My last ones, you know, the nautical was, you know, red, white, and a little bit of, I mean, red, no, white and blue with a little bit of red. And then my bird one was grays and yellows and whites. And then um, this one is just all over the map, super bright. John, are you looking at more questions? Your, my screen is frozen? The mic, is low. mic is low. Well, then I don't know what I can do about that, you guys. Okay, so what else? Any other questions? Pomegranates. Next time, to make this a little more seamless, I'm going to have my computer here where I can see the questions. This is a little inefficient. <laughs> But I feel bad I hung up on you guys when there were still questions. Have you got questions, babes? This year at retreat, um, Becky Goldsmith's going to be there. And I saw, like, Deb Silva, you were there. And um, a lot of my retreaties, we have so much fun. It's been going on 15 years. So I guess if there aren't any... Um, look under, for Rare Bear Projects, look under Rare Science or Google Rare Bears rare science they're called rare bears right am i got that right yeah rare john is looking up right now real rare it's rare science.org um at last houston in midst of the hurricane people got their kids there and it was on uh, halloween and ricky and i were in costume and the kids just were you know they're they're fighting a fight people and to give them a bear i felt really blessed to be a part of that whole thing. And it all just started with the lead scientist's concept and a mutual friend got us in touch with her. And so we said, yeah, we can be your reach out to the quilting community. And I think it's really starting to take form. The, the pattern itself is a simplicity pattern. And I did find it online by Googling that. Got anything else? Okay, guys, next time um, we'll be a little more efficient, but not bad for a maiden voyage in my book. Have a great rest of the weekend. I'm going to keep sewing. That automatically makes it great, right? Bye-bye. Ciao.